Um. 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 Hey. Um. Today. Um. I got the munchies. Hey. I got the munchies every day, but I really got the munchies today. Hey. And I figured I'd show you guys another awesome snack for after you're done hitting the stack. Hey. An awesome snack for after you're done hitting the stack. Uh, so what I got going on here. I got some toast down right here. Got some margarine. Brand new tub of margarine. Hey. Uh, got some Parmesan cheese. Got some mozzarella cheese. It's almost gone, so I got a brand new bag here just in case. Just in case it runs out. Hey. Got some ketchup. And, uh, got some Madonna's leftover meatballs from, uh, New Year's Eve, hey? And I'm gonna make, uh, uh, the camera flipped upside down. Hopefully everything's still the regular way for you guys. If not, just stand on your hands, eh? And, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna make a toasted meatball sandwich. Uh, I just put the toast down, though, so it's gonna take a few seconds. Uh, the meatballs are already warmed up. They're just waiting for us, hey? And, uh, yeah, I think this is everything we're going to need. You're going to need a fork to take the meatballs out of the pan, a knife to cut them in half, a plate to put your sandwich on, a butter knife to butter your toast with, a toaster to toast your toast. You're going to need some cheese and some ketchup for on top of the meatballs, and you're going to need some meatballs, eh? And, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Let's check on the toast. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Just let me set you guys down here. Uh, hang on. That should be good. Grab the toast. Grab the margarine, eh? Hopefully you guys can see everything. I'm right-handed, so it's, and I got the camera over on the left, so it's kind of hard to show everything something for, Anyway, we almost missed the toast there at the margarine. I don't know if you guys seen that. So anyway, butter up your toast. Or should I say, margarine up your toast, eh? And, uh, yeah. So that's that. Now we don't need the butter knife anymore. Don't need the margarine anymore. Move that shit out of the way. And, uh, just give me a second. I'm going to go over and grab some meatballs and bring them over here. Here's one. I don't know how many we're going to need. Two. Three. I'm really hungry, so, you know, <laughs> four. Five. Let's try five meatballs. Okay, let's cut them in half. And hopefully you guys can see everything. Cut them in half and just stick them on here. You can do this with any kind of meatballs. I'm using Donna's meatballs because she made so many and they taste really good. Eh? So, yeah. So anyway, you just load them up like that. I don't know if you guys can see everything. I hope you can. The sandwich is pretty much full. We're losing some meat. We don't want to do that. And yeah, look at that. An extra meatball for me, eh? Anyway, I need a paper towel. Fingers got all greasy from picking that thing up. Okay, uh, so yeah, you're gonna need some ketchup. Make sure you shake it up a little bit. 
We got some Heinz. There's no other kinds. Hey. Fucking right. Uh. Okay. Can you put a little bit of ketchup on the other toast? Hang on, I need to take a drink of my water. That meatball is hot. That's Charlie and Donna coming through the back door. If you guys heard that, just ignore it, eh? Okay, so you put your ketchup on. Hopefully that's enough ketchup. I don't know. It probably is. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, then you want to take your, your mozzarella, eh? We got the no-name shredded mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Just dump some of that on there. Some mozzarella. There we go. And we got some Cracker Barrel 100% Parmesan. Meatball sandwiches are really good for after you hit the stack, in case you didn't know. Especially with lots of cheese, eh? So we load that up there. That should be enough. And then we slap the top on, squish it down. And you cut it. And it should look like that. I mean, well, unless you use different cheese. Look at this! A piece of my, a piece of my meatloaf fell or my meatball fell out. Hang on, let me put that in there for you guys. It, it looks like, it looks. Uh, okay, there. Now it looks better. Had a great big gap. <laughs> and let me grab the other side here. Here's the other side without a gap. Okay. We're gonna bring this over to the table. Put it down right there. Then we're going to come back over here and stand you guys up. Uh, I should probably move you a little closer. And I'm going to head over and try. Do you want half my meatball sandwich? No, I'll make my own. You're going to make your own? Yeah. Donna's going to make her own. Okay, good. More for me then, eh? Uh, okay. I think that's everything I need over there. My hands are all full of stuff. We still got a couple other videos coming out today. This is the first video. Then we got a regular video. Well, I don't know, Don. Are you doing your? When are you doing your weighing your head video? Uh, whenever. <laughs> okay. Well, there's this video, a regular video, and I'm gonna make another food video later. But somewhere in between all these three videos, Don is gonna have a weighing your head video or something. So <laughs> be on the lookout for that video, hey? Okay? I'm kind of curious how she's going to do it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try this meatball sandwich, eh? Okay? It's really good. It's a perfect snack for after hitting the stack. Eh? Fucking right. Uh, and it goes good with cranberry juice. I got cranberry juice today. They say cranberry juice is good for the peg. Eh? That's what I heard.
When you're making your sandwich, Donna. Uh, after I've done this. Really good sandwich. Anyway, I hope you like this video on how to make a meatball sandwich for right after you hit the stack. And, uh, yeah. Like, subscribe. Stick around and watch some other videos. Hey? Okay? Till next time.